Jamila Kamara food. Today, I'm going to show you how I make the perfect sausage mash. So let me take you through the ingredients I'm going to use for this perfect mashed potatoes and sausage. I have here half a cup of garden peas, half a cup of carrots, I have half a teaspoon of grind ginger, grind garlic, and then one maggi cube, black pepper and white pepper mix, mixed herbs, sausages, half a teaspoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of salted butter, half chopped onion, one tablespoon of salted butter. I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese. Let's say a tablespoon of cheddar cheese, a tablespoon of double cream, two tablespoon of fresh milk, one teaspoon of bistro gravy. This is the boiled potatoes I boil in a little bit of salt water. Now I'm going to show you how to make the perfect, delicious, creamy, buttery, cheesy mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to add the potatoes into this gadget. Perfect. And now I'm going to add the cheese into this potato mash. Masha. And mash the cheese into the potato. Because I want everything to be incorporated very, very nicely. If you need to push it down and add the butter into this ma potato mash. The same, yes, see how it comes out <laughs> very fulfilling. Now, now we get everything the same. You're not gonna get lumpy uh, cheese, you're not gonna get lumpy butter into the smash. Put this aside, and now I'm going to add the double cream, A tablespoon of double cream. Two tablespoons of fresh milk, and then mix this together. This is the perfect, perfect mash. Perfect. Yes. This is the best gadget for me. It make life so easy. Yes, to mash the potatoes, give you the perfect mashed potato. Now I'm going to take you through the process of cook, making the gravy for this sausage. The first ingredient I'm going to put in this pot, one teaspoon of olive oil and then one teaspoon of salted butter. The English people call this bangers a mash. <laughs> so I'm going to put my own twist into this um, recipe. Now I'm going to add this sausage. This, I need this sausage to have some some attitude. <laughs> the butter and the olive oil just make this, take these bangers and mash to another level. This is the fastest meal you can make. And this is good for the children, good for a family. This is like a, a proper indulge. Tap onion, the sausage. Oh, oh, the smell. The aroma, the aroma, nice. Now I'm going to add the chopped carrots and the, the garden peas. Now I'm going to add the smoked garlic powder, the smoked ginger powder, and then one maggi cube. The English people don't actually add the maggi cube. You can use any seasoning cube of your choice. I'm going to add the black pepper and white pepper. Tear them around for them to be incorporated properly. I'm going to add, let's say, one cup of boiling water. I leave this to boil for about five, ten minutes because we need the sausage to cook. Because remember, when I fry the sausage in the oil and the butter, it's just to give it a little bit of color. I'm going to leave this to boil for five, ten minutes. 
I will come back to it. So stay tuned. Thank you for those of you who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends and family to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can take you to this journey of lovely, lovely cuisine. So now they are perfectly done. So now I'm going to just add the thickening agent, the pisto gravy. Just add it like this. Perfect. Perfect. Now the bangers and mash, the sausage and mash is ready. Now I'm going to dish this lovely indulgement. This is the mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna put some in this, you not know, to make it a little bit fancy, you know, give it like a nice present. Because as you know, some people eat with their eyes. So it's mad. So now, you just put it in the, in the bowl, in the bowl like this. So now I'm going to add the gravy. The gravy. Oh, look at that. Voila! This is the perfect sausage and mash. As you know, I like my, I, lo I love my garnish. To make the plate look prettier, just not going to garnish. But this is optional. This is the perfect bangers and mash, as we all know it as sausage and mash. So now, it's the time of a reckoning. I was looking forward for this delicious let me put the gravy into it Ooh, let me dig in mm. Mm. this is so good this is so nice I cannot help it let me just go for another bite Wow. Wow. Mm. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jamil Kamara Food, because I'm going to take you to a journey of lovely food. Yes, I'm going to convert a lot of European foods to African twist. So if you follow the recipe, you're gonna enjoy lovely food. Until next time. Bye. See you next time.